arrived at the distress beacon. Excellent, crewman. Bring us to a full stop. Aye, sir. Full stop. Check its transponder code. Make sure it's legitimate. Scanning. Uh, transponder not found, sir. Hmm. Curious. Crewman, hail them. No response. This could be a trap. Inquisitor, you look pensive. I sense something amiss. Caution. Yes, Inquisitor. I tend to agree. Very well, then. Crewman, keep our current distance. Saber Squadron, you may launch when ready. Saber 1 launching. Saber 2 launching. So, Tex, what do you think it's going to be today? Oh, I don't know, Chef. I think it's probably just another wild goose chase. Saber 1, Saber 2, this is Flight Control. Use your call signs. Uh, yes, sir. Saber 2, received. This is Saber 1. The bridge of this ship appears to be unoccupied. I am seeing an alert of some sort going off inside. Saber 2, I have escape pod deployment. Understood, Saber 2. Looks like the ship must have been abandoned. How are the engines? Are they online? Any visible damage? Saber 2 flight ops, we have extensive damage in the midsection with fire. Proceeding to the aft section to check on engines. Must be those filthy pirates again. Or maybe even rebels. Be on guard, Saber Squadron. This is Saber 1. I can confirm the cargo bay is missing. Saber 2, aft main engines are offline. Understood, Saber Squadron. Return to base. What the hell was that? Come, officer. Sir, it appears we have two Rebel A-Wings on approach. Well, bring us hard about. Shields double front. Aye, sir. Shields up. Bring weapons online. Saber Squadron, return and defeat those A-Wings. Saber 1, return to Saber 2. Forming up on your right. So that is the Hammerhead Corvette. So if you didn't know already, it's a ship from the Star Wars universe. It namely appeared most recently in Rogue One and also in the animated series Rebels. Now the version you see before you is an inspiration from that ship. It isn't exactly one to one. And that's for a number of reasons. First of all, the ship is much larger than the ship I built here. The second thing is that you really can't get the curves of the original concept art, which is what I was really shooting for. So instead I built a ship that looks like it and performs well in Space Engineers. Now the way I did that was to keep the mods to an absolute minimum. So it uses three mods. It's got M Master script, which doesn't really count. That's just a script. It's got the shield mod, which gives the ship shields, but it also has the accompanying shield mod graphics pack, which shows you a live LCD of the charge of your shields, which I thought was a really cool addition. It also has the Star Wars weapons mega mod pack, which of course is a must have for any Star Wars builds. And that's it. So what that actually means, if you didn't know, is that if you wanted to take the mods off, it worked just fine. And to be honest, the new texture and models for the new blocks and Space Engineers look so darn good that I think it is just okay without very many mods at all. It fits the part of a former civilian transport ship turned into a now much loved, heavily armed rebel corvette. 
It is also big enough to actually fit four of Perfect Blinky's A-Wings in the cargo hold, which is what you're seeing now. So I thought that was one other way to make it sort of fit with the lore. By the way, I'm talking about the ones that only use stock blocks, so you can use Blinky's A-Wings with this build with no mods whatsoever. The interior was a little bit more hard to accomplish to make it more Star Wars-like, but I think it just works in terms of looking good for Space Engineers, which is again why I decided not to try to absolutely copy the Star Wars look, but to instead shoot for a middle ground that really does look good in the engine for Space Engineers. And to close off this short showcase, I want to show you guys the last cool feature of the ship, which is the emergency mode, which you would activate in the case of having to use the three escape pods I've made on this ship. Just enough room for you to fit yourself and a droid with the plans to the Death Star. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I've dropped a link in the description of the video so that you can go and download this for yourself. And of course, as always, if you liked the video or if you liked me, make sure you hit the subscribe button and I hope to see you next time.